Now, Joe, the next big name in health care, you know, we've had Ben Nelson Week and Joe Lieberman Week and Olympia Snow Week when they were the stars. They, it was all up to them. The next big name is Joe Courtney. He is the House member from Connecticut who is opposed to the tax on health care plans, opposed to the tax on union health care plans. And he is saying, as of yesterday, that there is absolutely no negotiating room for him. Now, he represents 190 House members who joined him on a letter. Sure most of them, virtually all of them, will cave and go along with the Obama version of this tax, which he, he Obama now completely supports the Senate version of the tax. But, uh, but Joe Courtney is holding strong. He just needs to pull two people, three people away from that last vote in the House, and you cannot pass a bill. Lawrence, you've been talking about taxes for some time while the rest of the media and the rest of Washington was focused on the public option versus the trigger versus the opt-in and the opt-out. Back in California, back at the Reagan Library, my gosh, when was that, Pat? Was that September? I think it was September. You said taxes would, in the end, be what blew this bill up. Do you still believe that? Well, that's what the White House was working on yesterday. They had the union leaders in the Roosevelt Room yesterday. <laughs> trying to convince them to accept a tax that they hate. Now, what's, what's clear leaking out of the meeting is most of these tough guy union members are caving and working on a compromise. Richard Trumka yesterday gave a speech in Washington before going to the White House saying the Democrats would face catastrophic losses next year in the election if they pass this tax because it is a, a hidden tax which will then emerge to take uh, take a real bite out of middle class health care plans. This tax does hit the middle class. It does so by specifically reducing the benefits in your health care plan. So that creates two campaign flip-flops for the president. One is if you like your health care plan you can keep it. Turns out no you can't because we're going to tax it out of existence. And the other uh, plan, the other part of the, of the Obama campaign campaign was we will not tax the middle class. This does tax the middle class. Joe, to your original question, I have an answer for you on Axelrod's theory about taking on the Republicans this fall off the health plan, and it is this, pre-existing condition for children right. takes effect immediately. Kids are covered. Insurance companies can't screw you because your kid has a pre-existing condition. You can take that to the country. The vast majority of people in this country raise children. They get that immediately, and it's going to cover a lot of other sins that are encapsulated in this bill. Pat Buchanan, though, you're...